YouTube has introduced the auto dubbing feature of videos to other languages, which uses an AI voice to translate whatever is said in the video into another language, which seems to be a good feature on the surface, especially for myself as a content creator, as now I can reach wider audience. It also seems to be a good feature for a large portion of casual viewers as well, who don't speak or understand the language of the video. Prior to that, only larger channels had the option to have several soundtracks in the video or had the resource to actually keep separate channels in several languages if they wanted, and that meant hiring voice actors to do the translation, editors and everything. Smaller creators could only do captions in different languages. So this auto-dubbing feature is a nice feature in theory, but in practice Google introduced it in the most googly and youtube -y way. First of all, of course, there was traditional YouTube inequality, since only the biggest creators got this feature first, and it was months, if not years ago. Then gradually it trickled down to smaller content creators as well. So basically the way it works, YouTube first generates auto-captions from whatever is spoken in the video. So basically it converts speech to text, which could be displayed as closed captions under the video. This feature has been around for over a decade, and even though it has improved, it still leaves much to be desired. As it does not understand brand names, for example, skips entire sentences or parts of them, and it has zero concept of irony, wordplay, or even jargon. So the captions are not always correct. And they also enabled auto-translation of video titles and descriptions. So basically any humor or edge is completely gone from the video. And then these auto-generated captions are automatically translated and used for automatic voiceover with the most robotic voice imaginable to replace the original soundtrack. And also I discovered today that if the video has those auto-generated voiceover tracks in different languages, you cannot trim it anymore, which is a downside. Neither you can blur the video nor add soundtracks from the YouTube library until you delete the auto-dub languages. However, if you do that, there is no way to regenerate the um, auto-dubbing as of now. So it's only done once. And also, if the video is originally in English, it gets translated in about a dozen languages. However, if it is originally in any other language, you only get an English translation, at least for now. So in a nutshell, YouTube pushed out half-baked feature, which should be experimental or in beta, and you could disable it, but you cannot. However, these are mostly technical sides which can and probably will improve in the future as the technology develops. For example, there is a Russian browser named Yandex Browser, which is a Chromium clone with some extra features, and it does almost perfect voiceovers in Russian for any video in any language played using that browser. And it has been doing that for several years as well. Anyway, the biggest issue, Google and YouTube seem to have no concept of people speaking or at least understanding several languages. And it goes across the industry. For example, keyboard layout switching in Windows has not received caps lock as a hotkey to switch languages, while everywhere else, from macOS to Linux, you can do that. And in some programs like CapCut, the keyboard hotkeys do not work if the keyboard layout currently selected is anything other than English. That means that those programs were not tested in other languages. I don't know if not speaking any language except English is an American thing, but the irony is half, if not more developers at Google and Microsoft and all other tech giants are probably from India, Russia, Armenia, China and other overseas countries, so they do speak at least two languages. And this auto-dubbing feature, which is enabled by default, makes it a total nightmare for bilingual people or for those who left their origin country for some reason, since if you do speak the language of the video, which is not the language of some sort of preference, it will be dubbed into some other language automatically. And this is actually bad, since it will drive 
the viewer away from watching the video, as well as those auto-translated video titles and descriptions, can also drive away viewers who speak several languages. I personally understand three languages, and I want to hear the original soundtrack in those languages, I don't want them to be dubbed. Trouble is, even if the auto-dub feature is good, there is no official way to disable it. It's on by default, and currently you cannot switch it off, let alone select languages you don't want to be dubbed, and keep the rest dubbed. Currently there is no such feature. And actually I'm not sure how the system decides which language is your preferred language. Probably it's the location in your YouTube profile, or maybe the language of the interface, I am not sure. Or it may even be IP-based. So if you are located in a Hispanic country, for example, everything will be translated to Spanish. However, I do have English interface, I do have an English-speaking country as my location, and when I'm not logged into YouTube, everything is dubbed into English. However, when I am logged into YouTube with my Google account, some of the languages are not dubbed. I suspect this has something to do with languages section in my Google account. Not YouTube, but Google account, which I use to watch and post videos on YouTube. So if you go to this section in your Google account, the easiest way is just to enter this into the address bar of your browser. So here I have the languages I speak, with English as the preferred language, but the other language is not auto-dubbed, at least in the audio tracks. The titles and description are still translated automatically. So what you can do is to add languages you speak here, and make sure to disable automatic adding of other languages. But again, this language change in Google account is not immediate. I told about that in another video about YouTube automatically translating comments. So when you change your language preferences in Google account, it may take a couple days, that is 48 hours, to actually propagate among all Google services connected to the same account, be it YouTube or Gmail. It may take effect faster than two days, but it's most certainly not immediate. Also, don't forget that a creator has the option to disable the auto-dub feature on his or her videos, so they won't be translated. And also, since the feature is new, and it is currently working on freshly posted videos only, so a YouTuber's account has to have this feature enabled first, and all the new uploads will be auto-dubbed, the old catalog of videos on the channel will not have auto-dub, at least for now. The feature does not work retrospectively. What you can do is select the original soundtrack on a per video basis. So if you open a video and it is auto-dubbed, you can tap on the cog icon in both browser version and YouTube app on your smartphone, and there you can change the soundtrack back to original. But initially, the video will be dubbed. And this feature is not available in mobile version of YouTube for some reason. That is when you play a video in your smartphone's browser. Not the app, but the browser. There is no way to change the soundtracks in the mobile version of YouTube for browsers. Anyway, changing the soundtrack every time you open a video is such a hassle. And the only thing YouTube needed to do is to introduce a toggle or some other kind of setting to enable or disable auto-dubbing globally. However, they chose to push out this feature to everyone without any configuration. At least for now, there is no official way to turn it off for all videos. However, there are unofficial ways. On a mobile device, like your smartphone, you will have to use an alternative YouTube client, which is called YouTube Revanced. As a creator, I am against this app, because as a creator, it's detrimental for my channel for so many reasons, mostly ad blocking and sponsor block. But you will still use it, unfortunately, so what can I do? In YouTube Revanced, you go to Settings, Revanced Settings, Miscellaneous, Spoof Video Stream, enable it, and make sure that iOS TV is selected. Then go back to Settings and select Video, enable Force Original Audio Language. That's all you need to do. There might be some problems with specific videos, but for most videos, 
you will only hear the original soundtrack from now on. So essentially, it disables the auto dubbing feature. For browsers, including the desktop versions and the mobile versions, there are several extensions or add ons. This one, for example, doesn't work for shorts. However, this one was originally created to disable those auto translation of video titles and video descriptions, but it has been updated to also disable the auto dubbing feature. It exists both for Chrome, which covers most of modern browsers, that includes Google Chrome, Yandex Browser, Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, and any other browser which is based on Chromium or accepts Chromium plugins. And this extension also exists for Firefox, which will work in Firefox and all derivatives. Unfortunately, this plugin doesn't work in mobile versions. I tried it in Chrome for Android and in Firefox for Android, and the extension is not supported, at least at the moment I'm making the video. However, they may release a mobile version as well at some point. So all you need to do is to install this extension and maybe activate some features. And this is the only way to disable auto dubbing as of now, at least until YouTube introduces an official way to do so, which it didn't at the moment I'm making this video. I'm the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, jingle bells.